nerve cells do not divide. Most of the nerve cells in my brain are as old as I am. They have actually two options, to stay alive or to die. And they die in disease, they die in accidents, but also in aging. I have been working with the proteins which are called neurotrophic factors for more than 25 years. Probably in 2002, when at that time a graduate student, Davy Lindholm, and I found two new genes and two new proteins which looked like growth factors. We were quite sure that we have found a new neurotrophic factor. We decided to call it cerebral dopamine neurotrophic factor with neurologists in Meilati campus and neurosurgeons in the Turlock clinic. We are in phase one, phase two clinical trials. The way from our laboratory to our clinic is much shorter than in many, many countries. Nowadays, the technology enables us to alter uh, the neural activity very specifically uh, by uh, targeted delivery of stimulus like electric current or chemical agents to very specific neurological sites in human body. We all know that dementia is a huge uh, global epidemic. Every three seconds, someone in the world is developing dementia and it's getting clear that prevention is really the main element if we want to manage this epidemic. Our team in Finland has been doing frontline research identifying modifiable risk factors for dementia and Alzheimer's disease. It's getting clear that dementia and Alzheimer's disease are very complex and multifactorial disorders. And really to take the next steps in research, you need to have the multidisciplinary teams, you need to have the access to population-based longitudinal cohorts, carefully characterized clinical studies, new technology, experimental studies and in Finland I think we have all these areas and we have the multidisciplinary teams. Neurocenter Finland is a government-based project for uh, promoting networking and collaboration between neuroscientists in Finland. We aim at promoting personalized care for each patient. We also want to find new innovations coming from the basic research. And we also try to build an ecosystem for connecting all the important players uh, like researchers, companies, physicians and also patient organizations. In Finland we do have a long-standing tradition in, in clinical research and especially international randomized controlled trials. We have paid a lot of attention to the speed of our approval processes. It doesn't take more than two months for the entire approval process of a large randomized clinical trial, including contracts, ethical committee approvals and uh, hospital district approvals. As an example of the newest innovations is the imaging of immunoactivation in microglia and the effect of MS therapy. So we are able to visualize the effect of effective MS therapy by PET imaging, which is unique also on a global level. In Finland, we can trace the lifestyle of each individual by gathering the data from different repositories. And I think that this is really something that will be extremely valuable in the future if we want to personalize the treatment for each one.